I can tell you for a fact that you know to effort the people who are now doing the floor tiles. Yeah. They come for their clay here. Oh, so okay. we need partners to come and partner with the people here to just mine the clay. Mm -hmm. And they can also mount up or they can also establish the factory for t floor tiles here. Yeah. This is what we have apart from the sea. You know, we have a vast land for, 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 for any activity. Yeah. Hello family, welcome to my YouTube channel. Connecting Africans from the diaspora to Africans and the motherland, traveling, tourism and others have become the priority of this YouTube channel. But showcasing my region, central region, has become a necessity. And yes, one beautiful thing about central region is that it is known for her beautiful art and culture. Food, tourism, festivals, and a lot of places that one can hang out and really have the best fun in this country. With Cape Coast being the capital city of Central Region, we can also boast and say that Cape Coast was the first capital town of Ghana. Hello family, my name is Eko Simpson and I welcome you to the Central Region of Ghana. Central Region is one of the smallest regions in Ghana located at the southern part of Ghana with 22 districts. Economically, farming, fishing, and mining are some of the economic activities that the good people of Central Region engage in. For this reason, I invite you to the Central Region of Ghana. Stay tuned as we bring you more intriguing content from the Central Region of Ghana. Hey, welcome back to this YouTube channel. Economically, I've been telling you about the events that the good people of uh, Mori community engages in we are talking about fishing basically fishing is uh, the main thing that they do the main occupation that they do here but you may be thinking of relocating to africa ghana central region Mori to be precise and you are thinking echo what if i get here and there's no work for me to do there's a whole lot of things you can engage in and now we are going to talk to one entrepreneur who hails from the Mori community you may think everybody is a fisherman but some of us you know were lucky enough to have studied enough to have ventured into other uh, businesses thank you very much for being on my youtube channel yes. welcome so tell us your name and then tell us whether you grew up from here or your parents just came from here or tell us a little bit about you and maury yeah my name is echo nkroma bentum and i'm the indigenous of this town I grew up here to a certain stage and I left. But to talk about business of this place or what this place can bring in terms of business, this town is rich in culture. And whoever wants to visit Mori in terms of culture for tourism, this place is the best place to visit. You know, we have Elmina, we have Cape Coast, yeah. and we have Mori. If I can tell you, Mori have the richest culture ever, okay. aside Cape Coast and Elmina. Mm -hmm. And apart from that, there's any time that you get to Mori, you don't only see fishing. There are a little bit of this and that. For example, we have clay. Mm -hmm. We have other things that which also brings uh, 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 something like economic benefit. So when you talk of socioeconomic benefit, Mori has a lot to give. One where the days people come all the way from abroad, okay. the, the, the experience, they come here for tourism. You remember we have Fort Nassau, yeah. which was destroyed. This place has become a tourist center and people used to come and they still come. Mm -hmm. Recently, just about a week ago, this monument, which you see here, was unveiled. And this is going to add up to the tourist attraction to this town. Yeah. And I can tell you for a fact that for this one, People are going to come and have a look at it mm -hmm. because this is the basis. This is, these are the pioneers who brought fishing yes. into the nation, mm -hmm. who brought fishing into Africa. Mm -hmm. When you ask of Oferinu Kweja, this is the man. Mm -hmm. Oferinu Kweja, this is the man. All the coastal belts, they yeah. know this man. And this man hails from Mori. Yeah. And that is why this monument is, is, is here. And today we are celebrating him. In fact, I can tell you for a fact that because of this monument, a lot of people are coming to look at him and listen to the history mm -hmm. behind this monument. We are looking at the economic effect of this uh, monument that we have here. Now, let's go to, you made mention of your name and then you said you were CEO of a company. Someone out there would love to come 
and connect with the brothers and sisters in the motherland. We are talking about Mori to be specific. Now, what are the some of the investment opportunities that one can look into when they want to say, okay, we want to go to Mori and look at what is going on there? Yeah, thank you very much. I can tell you for a fact that you know twice for the people who are now doing the floor tiles yeah they come for their clay here oh, so okay. we need partners to come and partner with the people here to just mine the clay mm -hmm. and they can also mount up or they can also establish the factory for t floor tiles here yeah. this is what we have apart from the sea you know we have a vast land for 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 for, for any activity yeah. there are lands here that you can also put up hotels and other things because Along the coastal belt, Mori has the best and the nicest beaches wow. you can think of. Wow. So people are invited to come and put up hotels here along the beaches. Mm -hmm. And I can assure them that they will never regret doing it. Mm -hmm. A lot of activities are here, I mean economic activities. I am the CEO of Kane's group of companies. And I can tell you that when people come here, they come to me and I bring them here. And sometimes they even forget that they are just coming for tourism yeah. and they venture into something mm -hmm. else. We have a lot to offer the nation. We have a lot to offer Africa. Okay. Most especially the work of this great man, Ophelia Nukweja. And I can tell you for a fact that you will never regret when you visit Mori for economic or tourism activity. Since you are one of the um, indigents who are doing great with your business, uh, let us give ourselves the opportunity for you to sell your business to the outside world. What exactly do you do and how do we intend to in, uh, bring in investment? Yeah, thank you very much. Like I said, I am CEO of Kane's group of company. We are into furniture and furnishing, uh, both locally manufactured and imports. We have about 90 staff. We are located at Accra, Kisiman, East, uh, West Legon, and in Takradi, we are at Tanokrum. For, for, for example, uh, if you want room furnishing, if you want institutional furnishing, we are the number one okay. you can think of. Okay. Our website is www.canesgroup.com.gh. When you go there, you can see a lot that we do. In fact, we are the only company or only furniture company mm. which has its head office in Takradi and a branch in Accra. Wow. Uh, <laughs> and we, we, yes, yes. Because we believe in indigenous where we believe in local like for example Mori here mm -hmm. so that is what we do we do from you see in 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 life in life if you want to sit down you will need furniture yeah. if you want to sleep you will need furniture if you want to cook you will need furniture virtually everything in the life of a man needs furniture and that is what we sought to do that is what we provide so anything furniture come to king's group uh, formerly Keynes Furniture Company Limited. Now we are a group of companies. Company. So anything furniture. And it, it will amaze you to know that we have the best of prices ever. Wow. Yes. People come to our office and they wonder. They, were, they are amazed. That, ah, are you sure this is the price? Mm -hmm. Because of the affordability. Yeah. Our hallmark is affordability and quality. And I can assure you that when you visit Keynes Group of Company, whether by website, whether by Facebook, whether by, 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 by Instagram or YouTube, you will never regret your date. Come and see us for your furnishing. Absolute furnishing. We are there. Okay. Our, our, our slogan is, we set the standard. We set the standard. Definitely, uh, Echo Simpson and the team are also setting the standard for Mori community, bringing you what is relevant to you and to others across the world. Yo, uh, my name is uh, Supi Kwekwanan, and then I double as the planning committee chairman of this uh, project. Uh, in fact, uh, this project has highlighted Mori to the outside world. Here to people were thinking the Kweja was from this place, Kweja from the other place. And this monument has proved to the world that truly, truly, Mori is the origin and the home of the real Kweja. This edifice will attract tourists. This edifice, in a way, has united the community. Once upon a time, the three as of companies were not united. But with the introduction of this edifice, all the three as of companies have come together to promote the welfare of Maury. So we thank very big thank you to the organizers, big thank you to the sponsors, big thank you to those who had the, 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 the foresight 
we pray that God bless them. God give them the needed energy. God give them the needed resources so you know, that they come and do more than this. We have the hope that this is just the beginning of bigger things to happen. It's a, a bait. We are going to use this edifice to attract more investors to the Mori community. And on the second issue, in fact, Mori, we need a lot, especially our, our drainage system. The uh, tidal waves, with the coming in of the rainy season, we are very much afraid. We've been hammering on this issue now and then. And it seems the government has sent a deaf ears to our request. Yes, on the day of unveiling this monument, I saw one man that looks like Frenny Kweja, or that looks like Asebu Amenfi, because oral tradition or history will tell you that they were giants, you know, big, 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 big people. But I never, you know, took time to, you know, just say hello or whatever. So I went back home and then I was going through online, talk, reading about Mori. And I saw an article that says the world most celebrated photographer is from Mori. So I was like, and I checked the picture I was like, oh, this man, I saw him there. OK, so that was why you look like this man. Do you agree? Uh, I may think so. Because <laughs> <laughs> maybe you, you may have come from their you know, lineage. Um, thank you and welcome to my YouTube channel. Yes. Thank you. Um, how does it feel being a photographer that is celebrated around the world and you happen to be from Mori? Yeah. Uh, well, I started photographing day back like uh, 1976. Mm -hmm. And second year, Takrali. I wasn't born by then. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but because of my love for Mori, you know, second year, Takrali is a hot area. But I decided to come to Mori mm -hmm. in 1981. And from 81 to date, I'm here helping Sedicom, I think, a, a, a lot of tourism projects. Okay. So I was happy that day because this is like, a dream I nurtured for Mori for over 40 years. Because my grandfather told me about Mori history. And I, and I was part of this CEDICOM project, Central Region uh, Development Commission. Uh, I, I was the photographer. I was the photographer. So from that time, I was planning that we have to have something in Mori. But Mori had great history, you know. We have this uh, uh, Kuja Memphi and Asibwa Memphi. If you, I think Nana, see something about it. You know, it's like two gents. I don't know where the name came from, but they both call a Memphi. One lead before the other. So the one lead called Koja Memphi, he took a lead before the rear Memphi. So they are all a Memphi. Uh -huh. One Amenfi is a fisherman, so he decided to stay here. The second Amenfi, uh, the first Amenfi showed him a Cebu area where he stayed now. So they are brothers. So it's like Mori and Asebu, we are one. So this is an ancient town. We have a great history. Uh, Mori is first Dutch settlement. And the whole uh, Afri West African this castle there was the clinic okay. for all the kings and <laughs> others, you see. So Mori had a great history. So I was happy that this thing is here. This can bring a lot of investors because I'm an investor myself, but it's like I, I, I lost hope in Mori, yes. <laughs> but <laughs> something is bringing me back. <laughs> I love that. So what are we or what is Mori going to expect from a photographer. I, I saw one of your videos, it may be 2096, one of them, you organize an exhibition in Accra. And I think in the video, I saw the former president, Alu Mahama was speaking in there. And you organize one somewhere in Cape Coast, CNC somewhere about. It means that you have the potential to put whatever is going on here outside. Can we say we are giving you like two or three months to start something or what is going to be your role in projecting what is happening right now? 
I, 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 I planned before this. <laughs> and, you know, I have some pictures on this. And I was even planning to mount a exhibition at the British Council. But I now have to, because I'm trying to open my new studio in Accra. So I, I, I want to do it to coincide with the, the new studio. So I was planning something. And with that news that you, you said you, 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 you read, my friend in U.S. called me that, no, Finn, we have to mount a exhibition in U.S. For, for some time, uh, since uh, 2010, that I had an award in Korea, that World Master Award, I'm not been mounting a exhibition outside. Uh -huh. But previous, I mean, always. Uh -huh. So I think now I had something that I can stand on it to talk more about Mori. Because my project there, down there, I have museum, I have photo gallery, I have a lot of things. But I stopped from 2014. I think with this, I think I have to uh, start doing something about it. So yeah, we finally come to a beautiful conclusion of uh, what we want to do in connection with brothers in the motherland and then brothers and sisters in the diaspora. So, uh, Nanakra, I started from you and yeah. I have to end with you. What is the final where you may have heard everything that happened, all the conversation with the elders of this town? What is your final word and what do we expect I, next? That's what I want to talk about. I want to give you a little forecast mm -hmm. and a little backstory to okay. how we're working. We're not just working haphazardly here. Before the statue was put up, we did a survey mm -hmm. of 500 residents, random survey that was monitored, was, su uh, was supervised by Supiana. Yes. And we asked them for their ideas. So we got a lot of ideas mm -hmm. about what they would like to see happen. Perfect. This Later this week, we're going to do the first ever online survey okay. of what people actually want to see in terms of priority. Okay. So once we get that tabulated, so we want to uh, get 5,000 responses. Mm -hmm. So we will be confident that what we are doing is in fact what people what want people to see want. done. Yeah. So that's the forecast. So once we have that, probably take two weeks maybe, mm -hmm. yeah. we'll get it online. Everybody doesn't have a smartphone, so we have some logistical problems. But yeah. as you know, and as we see, technology mm -hmm. is the future. Yeah. So if we're going to do any catching up. Mm -hmm. It's going to be because we have technology. Yeah. So. We're not going to run around here with papers and pencils to find out what people want. We're going to have an online survey and we'll tabulate the survey. We'll prioritize what seems to be the most important to the least important. And we'll try to plan to implement the high priority things. So we're doing no guesswork here. So we're going to find out what all these people actually want. And that's what we're going to do. All right. So thanks to the whole crew for making this thing happen. We will share this video. If you get to watch this video, whether you're from Mori or not, we are looking at central region. We are looking at the whole world. So share this video to the other partners sitting by you so that we can project this together. Thank you very much for checking us out. Bye-bye.